I've heard great news that the director cared about the global server and provided the exact same gifts that we got in Korea. I was really upset that people weren't getting any cool animal skins and Mokoko pets. I've never thought they would have given the full package. So I'm really confident that they're working hard to provide the QOLs you guys have been missing. Now to get into the important topic that I can finally cover. Apologize in advance for the clickbaity title, but this is definitely the only mistake I still regret doing playing Lost Ark until now. In this package, you've got the most important item in the game, next to the Makoko pet. The two legendary select packs. I will talk everything about cards in this video. Lost Ark card system is the longest time consuming collectible for all users. Till to this day, I only know a few handful of people who have the BIS for DPS, and only one person my raid team has the BIS for support. Even the majority of streamers don't have these sets. I'm pretty sure it's less than 1% of the total user base. It takes both insane amount of time and money to achieve this status. There are many different ways to get cards. I will also mark them when I talk about the sets as well. You have main quest that provides card packs, which will come soon with updates, which is Vern South and Rowan. Abyss dungeons and raids have low chance to drop, rumors are 0.2%. Since this was a weekly activity without gold rewards, I used to run all 6 of them with all my characters, which is 6x20 equals 120 times just to get one stupid Zinnerbell card. That got me mad sometimes. We call this a notorious 6 dungeon card grind. Upcoming Legion raids will also have a chance to drop cards. Various islands also provide card packs. For example, the Fato and Permata Cruise, you can buy 7 weekly card packs with pirate coins. It's extremely low chance, but in the video, I got super lucky for some reason. Promise me don't go crazy over this. Procyon Compass has a card island as well. Make sure you do them. I believe these islands are way more valuable than gold rewarding islands. You can also buy cards from traveling merchants. They appear every hour in a pattern from 30 minutes to 55 on all channels at specific areas. It is important to set your Bifrost on some of your ults to grab these cards quickly. Koreans use a discord that shares the information for someone who finds it first. Achievements give you important cards as well, like Wei and Carmine. I got my Carmine for running the 100 Chaos Gate today for the support BIS set. Find out which ones are obtainable in the achievements section. Challenge Abyss Dungeons provide card packs as well, legendary as a low chance to get a legendary pack. pack or a legendary select pack. I always spent over 30k gold to buy the legendary select pack from the dungeon reward auction. I did get lucky on some of them and bought some cheap ones too. There are also milestones in the future that will provide you a legendary select pack. Most include Legion Raid tickets and PvP, which will come out soon as well. Marie Shop also sells it every 6 hours for Korea. A 10 pack up to Rare, and 20 pack up to Common. NA has the nerf version, so I don't quite recommend it yet. The director sometimes gives us the card pack as well, same as Global Server is getting it right now, which is this is the most exciting part. I think the reason why cards are so hard to get in the Global Server is that the BIS card slot for DPS almost breaks the balance considering where the people are right now. So I believe they slowed it down to have it less sufficient for people who knew the knowledge. I think more options will definitely come with buffs later, when more people will start to need these card sets. In the end, as I explained on my streams, you do not need to worry about cards too much, except the ones you can get for free, like from traveling merchants. Let's talk about the basic card system. When you receive a card, you can right click to register the card, kinda like the old days where you collect those Pokemon cards in a binder. You can find all your cards in the card window at Alt-C. You're not done just registering one card, you need to upgrade and awaken them as well. If you run out of card slots, you'll eventually recard most of the cards anyway for additional stats, so if it's not too much of a hassle for you, it is good to expand the card slots as well. At the growth tab, you'll have to spend silver and car experience to be able to awaken them. Make sure you save those car experiences for the important ones because they're very very limited. Awaken level 1 takes 1 card, 2 takes 2 cards and so on and so forth. You will need 15 duplicate cards to achieve fully awakened cards. So to give a comparison, in order to reach the second BIS card set, 18 Awaken Light of Salvation, you will need 42 cards total, and 90 cards total for the 30 Awaken set, your BIS. It's extremely difficult, even myself took about 7 months of grinding and buying it from the Marie shop every day. Now let's go over the card sets that are important. First, I believe most people have the Trixion 6 set for the 15% decrease in element damage, because it's free. Farewell Weapon, Field Boss 2 is the best card set for newbies, it provides extra 12% HP. You don't need to spend as much resources to get this effect. As for support, this is your second BIS. We also have We Will Meet Again and Force of Giants set. This provides massive defense when HP is lower than 50%, which is a good set for Mayhem Berserkers. And a Force of Giant provides additional defense at higher awakening. Using these two sets grants extreme survivability, especially on Mayhem Berserkers. For DPS related, we have Lost Wind Cliff set. At 12 awakened set, it provides 7% crit rate, which is very good. But don't make the same mistake as I do for using a legendary select pack for this. During my newbie days, my Korean viewers trolled me that I need this, so I've used it. 
Although at 30 awaken set is the BIS for supports, but supports do not need to aim for this for a very very long time because you need the DPS users to achieve the Light of Salvation set. Which it goes to the Light of Salvation set which is the BIS for most DPS classes. At 18 awakening it provides 7% additional damage and 30 awakening provides 8%, resulting total 15% on top of everything you have. There are some alternative choices for certain classes as well. For classes with high crit rate, some tend to get Guardian's Mayhem 12 set in the early days, which gives 4% increase in damage. But I would get them if you have extra resources like card experiences. For back attack classes, they also get something like the 3 Umar family. It gives up to 12% additional back attack damage. Mayhem Berserker sometimes use this with the Wheel Meet Against set. Classes like Striker though, his Tiger Kick has Lightning Element and back attack damage. So his BIS is actually Fate of the Lazanis and 3 Umar families. It provides that 12% additional back attack damage with 2% additional elemental damage and a random buff that lasts 8 seconds for 24% additional elemental damage. For utility, we have something like Romantists, where it gives movement speed with possible reset on your spacebar. People use this for life skills or adventuring. Also, some Sorks have Fate of the Lazanis and Romantists to cover some lack of movement speed and additional elemental damage. As for my big mistake, as you noticed by now, I've used my legendary select pack too early, which was on a Lost Wind Cliff. It was such a waste. You should never ever use the legendary select pack unless you can finish your 18 Awaken set for the Light of Salvation or 30 Awaken set for Light of Salvation. I personally recommend never using it until you finish your 30 Awaken set for Light of Salvation. Because the problem is, the closer you get to the 30 Awaken set, you will require only one or two out of these cards, which makes the probability even lower. I finished my 30 sets by having a total of 13 select packs in the end. To compare, some of my friends are stuck with 1 or 2 cards left without any select packs 2 months ago. Till this day, he still hasn't finished the 30 set yet. It's very scary. If you guys are planning to play this game really seriously and really long time, keep that legendary select pack really safe and do not make the same mistake as I do. So this wraps up the video. Hope this helps. As always, thanks guys. Bye.